Hey guys, Nick from Forti here, back with another video. And today I'm gonna get to something that I've been waiting a long time to do, never got around to it. So this is gonna be a little tour of my office workspace as well as my desk setup. Uh, this room in here um, used to be my dad's, but uh, he never really used it. So when high school started, I kind of took over it. Uh, I study in here, I game, I do um, creative work, all kinds of stuff in here. So let's enter through these double glass doors and see what we got. So let's see, give you a quick pan of the office. There we go. Uh, it is not a clean office by any means, but um, I kind of like it like that because when it's messy, I have access to a lot of my stuff. Uh, I know this is gonna trigger a lot of OCD people, but um, I don't have OCD. So <laughs> let me give you guys a look around. Um, so I got over here, just, you know, boxes for these monitors right here because I just set this up uh, There's cables and stuff in there. So uh, this is a sharp TV that I never use uh, a wolf watch winder, which I got for my birthday. I haven't even used it as well. <laughs> Pencil sharpener, never use that. And then this is my old computer right here. This is the HP Elite One 8000. Um, it's, it ran Windows 7. This was originally um, over here. Um, finally thought it was time to upgrade. Well, not even, even really upgrade because it's kind of the same thing, but uh, I'll get to that in a second. So yeah, um, phone, uh, extra books and backpacks for class. That's my regular backpack right there with all my school books and stuff, more school books, mainly pre-calc and AP psych. Uh, this box right here is for my tripod. I haven't thrown it away because I have a lot of like warranty information and carrying pouches in there. And over here, it's just more school stuff. Um, my Bose SoundSport headphones, earbuds that I've um, shown in the past. Uh, my Pixel 3a right here. I use this for, you know, mainly taking pictures and stuff. A really good camera. And yeah, I mean, that's mainly boring stuff over here. But now we get to the exciting part over here. This is the desk setup itself. So start with this right here. Um, the monitors, these are from Dell. They are 24 inch monitors. The official name, I believe, is the uh, Dell S2417, uh, I think like DM or GM or something like that. Uh, they are uh, 1440p, 160 hertz monitors, I believe. Uh, they support NVIDIA G Sync and NVIDIA 3D Vision. Um, I don't take full advantage of these monitors because they're plugged into my laptop, which I'll get to in a second as well. Uh, but yeah, those are the monitors, new monitors. They look really, really great put together like that. So, and then the keyboard and the mouse, these are bundled together. This is the Logitech um, K520, and this is the Logitech uh, M310 mouse. They're Again, they're bundled together. They use the same receiver. Um, I was thinking about getting a new keyboard and mouse just specifically for this new setup, but I felt really comfortable with these. They're really, they're, I'm not really too picky when it comes to my peripherals, but uh, as you can see, they're pretty dirty. They're pretty worn down. Uh, I've had them for a long time, but they're great. Uh, they're really soft. Highly recommend them. Uh, also, I'll try to find links to all this stuff and put it down in the description, in the description below, but a lot of these were actually kind of hard to find. I didn't even buy these monitors. I got them from, from a friend, so... Anyway, um, headphones, um, these are the Sony XB900Ns that I've showed quite a bit. Uh, the best thing about running from my laptop is I have access to Bluetooth uh, on this setup, unlike the uh, my previous, which doesn't have Bluetooth. So I can actually run Bluetooth headphones on these two monitors, which is really great. Okay, then, of course, the XPS 13 that I've shown in a lot as well. Um, this is kind of intuitive. I had to do a lot of workarounds to get that laptop to support these monitors, but I'll sort of walk you through one by one how I, um, how I did it. So first off, um, it has two Thunderbolt 3 ports and a uh, micro SD card slot and a headphone jack. That's only the port. Those are the only ports on this laptop. So of course gotta get the dongle life, I guess. But anyway, so I have one, uh, Thunderbolt 3 cable. So USB-C cable to HDMI hooked up to this adapter, uh, to this monitor over here. So that's one adapter going into that monitor. Uh, I mean, going into this port right here. And then over here, 
I have, this is a Anchor 7-in-1 docking station. Uh, this has uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, display port, full-size SD card reader, micro SD card reader, and a few USB, -C, uh, USB ports as well. So I plug this into the second uh, Thunderbolt 3 port on my laptop and um, all my peripherals are expanded through here. So over here is the receiver for the mouse and keyboard. Um, as you can see, uh, hold, up, hold up, see they actually work. They're not just sitting there, you can type everything. I didn't think it was gonna work at first because I don't know how dongles really work, but yeah, so I have that. Uh, this is an HDMI port that runs into this uh, monitor right here. Uh, because I don't really want to use the other USB-C port. So, H so HDMI to HDMI over here. Um, it has an HDMI port, so I figured I'd take advantage of it. And then um, this white USB-C cable is what charges my laptop. So it charges through the um, power port, through the, um, the docking station into the laptop. It's not very fast, but gets the job done. Um, it's plugged in all the way over here. Uh, as well as down here, I, these are the power supplies for my laptop for the uh, monitors that are uh, plugged into those two ports right there. So, uh, last thing is this USB port right here. This USB cable is hooked up to this webcam, which I literally just installed before I started making this video. Uh, I haven't really tested out tested it out yet. I got it from Amazon for like fifteen bucks. Uh, it's called the. It's from a brand called um, Qtinu, I think. Um, it's 1080p webcam. I mean, I'm not going to be really picky about it. I got a webcam because um, the webcam on the XPS 13 sucks. And um, I can't use the webcam when the laptop is closed anyway, so I got that for there. Um, that's about it, actually, for that. Uh, printer right there as well. I'm not really going to go into detail on that. But yeah, let me g give you a little look at those monitors. You can see. And again, you know, I don't really take full advantage of them, but um, they they work, and it's really a great way to expand um, usability on the laptop. So it's powerful enough to run a lot of things. Um, I can run Photoshop on Photoshop or Illustrator on here, no problem. All kinds of photo apps. I got. Um, I usually have a lot of tabs open at the same time. So the point of all this was multitasking. And I could have done a better job, but you know, I think that for now this will work. I don't have to worry about building or getting a PC. But uh, so I really enjoy this and I think, you know, it's gonna be here for many years to come. All right guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you have any suggestions what I should do with this, uh, like maybe you want me to move the monitors over here instead, put the laptop over there, shift things around, um, open the suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Uh, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, stay tuned for future content. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.